Welcome everybody. We are given, given this system x squared positive y squared is equal to 30 and x cubed positive y cubed is equal to 35. We are expected to solve it. So I would like to take the first equation as 1 and second one as 2. Now I would like to draw your attention to the famous algebraic identity. So we know that x positive y raised to the power of 2 is equal to x squared positive y squared positive 2 times xy. So I can retain x squared positive y squared on this side and move 2 times xy to the left. So this would mean I now have x positive y raised to the power of 2 negative 2 times xy is equal to x squared positive y squared. Now let me consider or I should say let me assume x positive y to be equal to some p and x times y is equal to some q. So if I were to use this assumption over here, this would mean I now have x squared positive y squared to be equal to, in place of x positive y, I'm going to substitute p. This has got a power 2, so place that, followed by negative 2 times. In place of x times y, I'm going to substitute q. So this is what we have got for x squared positive y squared. So therefore, I can utilize this and rewrite 1. So 1 can be rewritten as in place of x squared positive y squared, I'm going to substitute p squared negative 2 times q is equal to 13. Let me name this as 3. So now I would like to draw your attention to another algebraic identity. So we know that x cubed positive y cubed is equal to x positive y times x squared negative x times y positive y squared. So what I would like to do is, I would like to club x squared with y squared and rewrite it like this, x squared positive y squared negative x times y. Now, we have been given x squared positive y squared is equal to 13. So I would like to rewrite this entire right hand side. In place of x positive y, I will substitute p. In place of x squared positive y squared, I substitute 13. In place of x into y, I would substitute this value q. So I got in for x cubed positive y cubed, I've got this value. So this means, let me write down that value, x cubed positive y cubed is equal to p times of 13 negative q. So I'm going to utilize this value into this equation 2. So therefore, 2 can be now rewritten as in place of x cubed positive y cubed, I'm going to substitute p times of 13 negative q is equal to 35. Now I would like to multiply this quantity by 2. So if I were to do that, I would now have p of 13 times 2 is 26 negative q times 2 gives me 2 times q with a negative 2q with a negative sign is equal to 2 times 35 gives me 70. You might be wondering why did I do that? I did this for the very fact that I can utilize the value of 2q which is going to be 13 negative p squared. But since it has got a negative value here, I need to do is take this value and directly substitute it here. So this means I got p of 26 in place of negative 2q, I will be substituting 13 negative p squared. So it's going to be 13 negative p squared is equal to 70. I can add 26 with 13, so that would give me p times 39 negative p squared is equal to 70. This would mean distributing the value of p, I would get 39 times p negative p cubed is equal to 70. I don't want a negative sign with p uh, for this value p cubed. So what I would do is I would multiply throughout by negative 1. So that would give me negative 39 p positive p cubed is equal to negative 70. Now if I were to bring this negative 70 over to the left hand side, that would mean I now have p cubed negative 39p positive 70 is equal to 0. Right? So now I wish to add squared. So we are adding 2p squared and removing 2p squared. So this is p cubed negative 2 times p squared negative 39p positive 2 times p squared positive 70 is equal to 0. So as I just mentioned to you, all that we are doing is we are adding and subtracting 2p squared. 
and that's the reason we have got this equation so I will club these two together so this is going to be in fact let me take p squared out if I were to take p squared out this is going to be p negative 2 I can't do anything with this uh, negative 39 p so what I'll do I will start writing 2 p squared first and then to factorize this quantity what I would do is I will just add negative 4 times p and take 4 times p out that means adding and subtracting 4 times p so 4p is over here and then you got a 39p followed by positive 70 is equal to 0 this is going to be p squared of p negative 2 now I can take 2 times p out this is going to be p negative 2 that's fine now 4p added with negative 39p would give me positive 35p with uh, no actually this is negative right so negative 35p followed by positive 70 is equal to 0 we need to be a little bit careful when we are doing operations like this so now let me rewrite this one more time p squared of p negative 2 positive 2 times p of p negative 2 now I would like to take negative sign out and 35 out so that's going to give me p p times negative 35 would give me negative 35 p I got a positive 70 so I need to place a negative 2 there so this is equal to 0 so this can be further rewritten by taking p negative 2 out this is going to give me p squared positive 2 times p negative 35 is equal to 0. Now this can be easily factorized since we are running out of space let me move to the new page. So let me write that last step which we have just obtained. So we have p negative 2 of p squared positive 2 times p negative 35 is equal to 0. Now this can be factorized as p positive 7 times p negative 5. So p into p gives you p squared. This is going to be 7 times p with negative 5p. That's going to be 2p. 7 multiplied with negative 5 would give me po uh, negative 35. Of course, you got p negative 2 is equal to 0. So this means I now have p negative 2 is equal to 0. From here, p is equal, equal to 2. And then p positive 7 is equal to 0 from your p is equal to negative 7 and p negative 5 is equal to 0 from your p is equal to 5 so the values of p right the values of p are we got p being equal to negative 7 and p being equal to 2 and p being equal to 5 so this is the value for p. Now we need to obtain the value for q. Now we know that we have extracted for equation 3 p squared negative 2 times q is equal to 13. So what I wish to do is I would like to move this to the other side and bring this to this side. So it's going to be p squared negative 13 is equal to 2q. So therefore the value of q is going to be p squared negative 13 divided by 2. So we will have to substitute the values uh, for each of these quantities for p that we have got so that subsequently we got q value so let me just do that so when p is equal to negative 7 so what what happens so this is going to be negative 7 squared negative 13 divided by 2 is going to be 49 and 13 that's going to be 6 and from 4 you take away 1 you get 3 and you divide by 2 you get 18 so my q is equal to 18 so that's fair enough next again we substitute the value of p is equal to 2 here so it's going to be 2 squared is 4 negative 13 divided by 2 and that would give me 9 right 9 over 2 with a negative sign so my q is negative 9 over 2 and then p is equal to 5 so it's going to be 25 negative 13 divided by 2 so that's going to be 12 right so 12 divided by 2 is going to be equal to 6 
So Q is equal to 6. Now this is the value for P and Q, right? But we have just assumed, we have assumed, what did we assume? We assumed X plus Y to be equal to P and X into Y is equal to Q. So first set of value, when P is equal to negative 7 and Q is equal to 18, we need to extract the value of X and Y. So X positive Y is equal to negative 7. So from here, I can clearly write Y to be equal to negative X negative 7. And over here, you get X Y is equal to Q. So X into Y is equal to Q is going to be equal to 18. So what I wish to do is substitute substitute y is equal to negative x negative 7 in this right so when I do that what happens here this is going to be x of negative x negative 7 is equal to 18 so this is going to be negative x squared negative 7 times x is equal to 18 so if I were to bring this 18 to this side I get negative x squared negative 7x negative 18 is equal to 0 which means x squared positive 7x positive 18 is equal to 0 this is what I've got now let me solve this so x is equal to negative 7 plus or minus root of 49 negative 4ac 4 times 8 is 32 3 so 4 ones are 4 5 6 7 now clearly you can see this is going to be producing complex roots okay complex roots so we drop this okay drop this so that means we are actually dropping this value because we want to avoid complex roots we want to just extract real values so for that now we need to use the second set so we will now use we will now use p is equal to 2 and q is equal to negative 9 over 2. So taking p is equal to 2 into x positive y, so we now get, we now get x positive y is equal to 2, this is one equation, and then x, y, in place of q I'm going to substitute negative 9 divided by 2. So from here I'm going to write this for y. So y is equal to 2 negative x and then I will be substituting this value of y over here. So this would mean x times of 2 negative x is equal to negative 9 over 2. So cross multiply. When I do that I get 2 times x of 2 negative x is equal to negative 9. So 4 times x negative 2 times x squared positive 9 is equal to 0. So this is what we have got. Now what I wish to do is I would like to multiply by negative 1. If I were to do that this is going to give me 2 times x squared negative 4x negative 9 is equal to 0 that's perfect so if apply the quadratic formula so there's going to be x is equal to 4 plus or minus root of 16 negative 4 times 2 times negative 9 divided by 2 times of 2 which is equal to 4 plus or minus root of now 4 times 2 is 8 8 times 9 is 72 is a positive sign so it's going to be 16 added with 72 right so what do we get there 16 added with 72 6 and 2 8 88 88 means 4 multiplied with 22 divided by 4 so this is equal to 4 plus or minus root or root of 4 times 22 divided by 4 this is going to be 4 plus or minus 2 times root of 22 divided by 4 this is going to be 2 times of 2 plus or minus root of 22 divided by 4 which is going to be giving me 2 plus or minus root of 22 divided by 2. So this is the value that I've got for x. Now this is for x but we need to extract the value for y. 
since y is equal to 2 negative x, this would mean you substitute the positive side first. This is equal to y will be equal to 2 negative of 2 positive root of 22 divided by 2. So that's going to be 4 negative 2 negative root 22 divided by 2 which is going to be equal to 2 negative root 22 divided by 2. Right? So this is when x is equal to, so let us write that down. When x is equal to 2 positive root 22 divided by 2, my y is 2 negative root 22 divided by 2. So when x is equal to 2 negative root 22 divided by 2, my y will be the other way around. In place of uh, negative, you will become positive. Probably you can just see that. If I were to substitute negative, you know, this is going to be 4, negative 2, and uh, since it's negative, yeah, it will become positive. So this is going to be y is equal to 2, positive, root 22, divided by 2. So this is one part of the solution. But we've got the other value for p and q. So we got a p here, uh, which is 5 and 6. Okay, so we got to utilize that now. Okay, second set. Okay, second set when p is equal to 5 and q is equal to 6. So this would mean my x positive y is equal to 5, which means my y is equal to 5 negative x. So x y is equal to q xy is equal to 6 which means x times of 5 negative x is equal to 6 so this is going to be 5 times x negative x squared is equal to 6 this means negative x squared positive 5x negative 6 is equal to 0 and multiplying by negative 1 throughout that would give me x squared negative 5x positive 6 is equal to 0 this is what I've got so if I were to factorize this, I need to get a negative 5, I need to get a positive 6. So this is 3 and 2, negative 3, negative 2. Multiplied, you get positive and you place the addition, you get this negative 5. So this is going to be x negative 3 times x negative 2 is equal to 0. This is what we've got. Right? So x into x, x squared, negative 3x and negative 2x gives me negative 5x and positive x. That's fine. So from here x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 2. Now we got to take this value and substitute it here. So when x is equal to 3, what happens here? This is going to be 3 positive y is equal to 5 and y is equal to 5 negative 3. So I get y is equal to 2 here. Now when x is equal to 2, I substitute it here. 2 positive y is equal to 5 so y is equal to 3 there so you can substitute it that 2 and 3 so now the other set of roots is what Sub, uh, just place in the values so you got x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3 that's fine this is one set and x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2 right so let me mark this over here so this is one set this is one set of solutions solution and this is the other set of solution right this is a beautiful question now this question deals with a lot of concepts of algebra right and uh, questions like this uh, develops the thought process extensively. So please take note of this and until we meet again. Thank you.